Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Apple Watch. So I have my old Series 8 watch here, which I've already paired to my Apple iPhone. And I've bought an Ultra 2. So this is the latest version of the Ultra at the time of recording, which has just come out. And what I'm going to do today is to basically upgrade from the old Series 8 to the Ultra 2. And today I'm going to show you the entire process of how to do this. You're going to have all of the same settings and layout from the old watch, and it's going to be paired up to the new watch here. Everything's going to be working exactly as it used to. And I'm going to show you the whole process of how to do this. So I'm going to be assuming that you have an old Apple Watch, which you've already paired to your iPhone. And of course, if you want to be able to use the latest Ultra 2, you also need to be using iOS 17. So make sure that you update your phone. Just go into general settings, software updates, and then make sure that you're using the latest version of the software. So 17.0.0 or onwards and then we can go ahead and set up this new watch. So basically it's quite straightforward. What you need to do is to make sure that your watch is turned on like this. And then all we have to do is kind of bring these two devices close together and the iPhone is gonna detect. Then we can follow the instructions on this pop-up window here. So what I'm gonna do is press continue and it's saying here, we're gonna set up the Apple watch. So we're gonna do this now. So basically I'm gonna set up for myself and then we're gonna hold up the Apple watch to the camera. So this is gonna detect this kind of pattern on the camera itself. So we can get a bit closer, just to get this together. And it says here, your Apple Watch is paired. So here we're gonna make this our new Apple Watch. So you can see here, this is gonna bring all of our data from our current 45 millimeter Series 8 watch. And it's also gonna have all of the settings, etc., that we had from our previous Apple Watch. So I'm gonna press continue here. And uh, that's just all started working now. So things here, connecting, your Apple Watch, this may take a moment. So you can see here the progress is being made. It's saying the setting language. Here we're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions, press agree. Signing into your account, this may take a few minutes. So we have a choice of watch analytics. I'm gonna press don't share. Here we're gonna add a passcode to the Apple Watch, create a passcode, and then we can add a passcode to the watch here. Just tap this in and then continue. So once the passcode has been entered, we're gonna go through this setup here, press continue. It's asking us to personalize fitness and health data, press continue. So safety here, it says there are various safety features, emergency SOS, crash detection, siren, etc. cetera. You can leave those on. So we can also set up Apple Pay as well. I'm gonna do this later. And then we have an action button here, which we can customize if we want to. I'm gonna set this to workout, press continue. This can tell us the depth information. We're going to keep this on when we're submerged. Diving information. And now the Apple Watch has started its syncing process. So this is kind of a progress bar. So now it says here, device has been added to your account and Apple Watch can now have access to iMessage and FaceTime, press okay. So that screen's just turned off, just turn it back on. The uh, Apple Watch has just given us a little ding. And basically it says here, yeah, welcome to Apple Watch. This has fully synced over now. So basically I'm gonna enter my code here and uh, we've got this hello button screen here. So I'm gonna press start and then we're gonna go through the kind of initial setup process. So now that's how you go ahead and do an upgrade from an old watch to a new watch, how you transfer data from a series eight to an ultra two. So now I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.